Welcome back to Dusted Game Facts. <laughs> so this this here uh -huh. is literally the only difference between the English and Japanese. And it starts on English both ways. The, the Super Famicom version of the game. So in the, the United States version, it has the Japanese text on it and it's locked? No, you can select it. Oh, okay. So it's default. It's this, The Super Famicom version starts with the English text also. The ROM is exactly the same. It looks, for all intents and purposes, exactly the same as the, the English version. They just put it in the Famicom cart. And you actually remove it and put it in a fucking Super Nintendo cart. I just love that that whole thing that it's exactly the same game. Like, the image of the game is not different. So this is one of my favorite tricks in the game. Uh, is this one of the ones you were talking about? There's a, yeah, there's a health tank up here that's a dick to get to. It's actually easier to get to now that I got the spin attack, though. You can come up here, like, way earlier in the game and not worry about... Ah, oh, fuck it. Fuck you, guy. It's dangerous, because it's super lava. So this shit fucks you up. Yeah, but if, as long as you don't die, die, you're gonna... Yeah, you we'll get help. back out of here, yeah. Uh, there's a trolling set of missiles that I'm gonna hopefully get. There's a soup there's like a special way of getting them to not fuck it up. I have the spin attack now, so if I fuck them up now I'm gonna be pissed. So that this should all be easier. Stupid lava. Oops. <laughs> ah. But yeah, you can super bomb your way through here and not have to You have to super bomb here anyways. Actually, I never tried cut through there before. It's nice it gives you a nice little refill spot there if you uh Alright, these are the troll missiles. You have to land right in between them. Oh, oh I'll get this one. <laughs> if you land right in between them, you can get a book. <laughs> if not, you have to go back around again. Oh, you have to go back around. Yeah, I'm not getting. I was like, around. can you not wall jump up? No, you can't. Oh, because it can close. Yeah, they close up. Uh, fucking let me out of here. There we go. Um, there was a. Uh, this is gonna be where I need to be, anyways. This is the final part of the game. Cool. It's like the alien spaceship shit. Cool. Emergency lights and stuff. Burr. This is the statue I want to own in real life. Is this the one you were saying talking about 3D printing? Yeah, I would totally dig that in real life. It'd be the coolest fucking amiibo ever if they made a full size one of those. <laughs> I mean, there's always the chance with all the new Metroid games coming out. But yeah, you gotta kill the four bosses, then it. They like go into the ground, and let you in. Best friends ever. The the <laughs> We're bottom, just the best four friends. The bottom middle one's clearly the alien face. Yeah. It's like the fat one, the squid like one, the the ghost in the middle, and then Ridley on top. Let's see, Fantoons in the middle. But it's clearly the alien, like from aliens. I guess. Like the mouth? I mean, it's all aliens. The whole damn video game world is aliens. Game so this is when you Mega? finally actually have to deal with real Metroids. Metroids are somewhat terrifying. But it's like, eh, whatever. You kind of get used to them when you know how to kill them. Uh, when they get on top of your head, like if you fuck up and let them get you, you have to bomb them off, which sucks. So, fun fact about aliens, which you almost take care of, I really know this, but the fun, the game over man thing was completely unscripted. Oh, yeah, I knew that. And he wouldn't stop saying it on set. <laughs> <laughs> game over, man! These are clearly bigger than the other ones. So this whole this whole setup here is how it is in the first Metroid of the ending. The little things shooting at you, little circles and the fucking 
Metroids that you gotta freeze, not fucking let them touch you, or it's fucking gigs. Over, man. It's fucking. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, so you gotta bomb them off you. Get off of me. <laughs> I never had this problem. Well, the one grabbed you, right? Is the other one let go? But yeah, you have to kill them all to get to the fucking thing. Fun fact, this is where they were in the mission when I got my donation read. <laughs> were they? Yeah. This, this part of the game. It's right, right here in this general area before they got to the next cool thing. That was a really dangerous place to stand, buddy. Little bubble sounds, little bubble sounds. It's pretty intense. Ah, oh, I, I knew I could have got him. Fuck that up. There's also like a weird growling fucking sound in the background too, where it's like. All right, fun times. I'm not sure where the no the point of no return is. I think it's further in. Oh, this guy you can't kill. Oh, you can't kill these guys. Can you kill these guys? I don't know. I don't remember. I think there's a way to kill them, but we're just gonna keep them. I like this. This is storytelling through uh, show and not tell right here. I like all the stuff's like had the energy sucked out of it. Just kind of crumbles. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ow. They figured out a way to skip uh, this part of it. Where, like, you kind of, like, jump off screen and not get your... have to deal with this motherfucker. Right. Big Metroid's the best Metroid. It's baby Metroid all grown up. Then he realizes who you are. Is this the baby Metro that got stolen? Yeah. It's all grown up now. Pretty great. Pretty great. It's always a crowd pleaser. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. I think the point of no return is this save room. Where, like, if you want to go back out and farm, you're kind of, like, fucked. Ah, oh, there's a save room coming up. Yeah, we don't... There's a there, there's an obvious spot in the game where you can't get out anymore. Like you just have to figure out how to beat it from there with what you have. Yeah. Um. It's after the save room though, so it's cool. Like the game never traps you in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where you save your Samus data. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> For same as A. <laughs> I was trying to make an A joke, but nothing came to me. Uh, just me. That was a whiff in my head. Uh, oh man, this game is so full of cool stuff. So. It's cool that they revisit the final boss of Metroid right here. It's it's sort of a psych out too, because this is how Metroid ends. And then it's like, oh god, it's this shit again. They change it up with these part, which is cool. But uh uh, it's mostly the same. That's how the final fucking Metroid. A lot of people saw this because there's passwords and stuff you can do to go to the final boss, see it yourself. Right. So even people who are terrible at Metroid, that, it, stupid human tricks. People will put the password in, show off what Metroid looks like when you beat it. Right. I told you about all the stupid human tricks in video games yeah, history. We, we've talked about this a lot at, in person and. Some but, uh, that was there. another stupid human trick. Come on, lay down. People bring out the old Metroid, and they, they show you this, the, 
trick code to take off her outfit, which was cool. And then they showed you the they'd show you how they can beat Metroid with a password that gives you full everything. <laughs> it's like you want to see how it is to beat Metroid with everything already unlocked. I have actually never been terrified of this boss, but uh, it's never really been hard. Um, but the speed runs make it intimidating as hell because they fucking they don't have enough anything to get through this boss, and there's a certain amount of health you need to take the final hit. Um, when you need, when you don't have the full suit upgrades, it's quite a bit of health. Like I think you have to have like full 99 at least, or some shit like that. Uh, so watching them just can't get hit to beat this is fun as fuck. But honestly, this is one of the weird parts in the game where uh, you realize Super Metroid's not hard. Or this 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 is anticlimactically easy for a casual casual runner. Right. Because as you can see I barely I barely blow a sweat getting to this part, and then this part right here is, uh, scripted. So you think you're gonna live or die? No, it's just scripted. You just, he keeps beating you up until you get saved! But yeah, that boss is really fucking hard when you're not ready for it, when you don't have the right equipment. And speedrunner, speedrunners, that boss is rough. Also takes way longer. It takes so long. Yeah. Speedrunners, because they don't have enough power to kill it. it. Takes forever. We're gonna finish this right at a four star tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, getting out of here is pretty easy. But yeah, there's this cool moment where you know. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. So the Metro gives you all your stuff back, powers you up. It's pretty cool. I like how it's still drooling. Just coming back. And she starts attacking your baby Metroid. No! No! Sad face. Little bulgy eyes. I forgot it dies. Yeah, it's pretty sad. <laughs> but it gives you the, like, badass power. Are you doing that? Yeah. You're in control now. Revenge, motherfucker! It's weird, because of how hard this game is, Ridley, in a casual run, Ridley's really the final hard boss. Or is this just feels like story closure? I mean, that's not super uncommon, especially nowadays. Yeah. And then there is, of course, the great final escape from every other game. I like it, like, dissolves. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Save the animals. Oh, I will. Uh, the reason I'm a huge fan of saving the animals is... It's such a unique secret to the game that uh, I feel like without saving them, like it's like they don't even, it doesn't even exist as a secret. So it's just like this cute little thing you can find on the way out of the escape. Well, and to me, it feels like you're letting Metroid down. <laughs> I, I understand that they're speed running, and it, it makes sense to. If you're going for the world record, of course, you're not yeah. saving the goddamn animals. Right, no. But you're also speedrunning if you're speedrunning for charity. You know? Save the animals. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. I also get that... The problem with the whole, with the whole there, thing... There also probably is a chance, there's a point where it's like, I'm sick of saving the animals. I do it every time. Well, the, <laughs> the thing, too, with... The funny thing is with charity, with the charity thing, is... Uh -huh. 
It seems like all the normal donations go I will, to save I want to point animal. out something really cool here. Yeah. You come out of that way here, and this is the final area of that you went through earlier that was the final area. Uh -huh. So this is literally the same jump path you take in the original Metroid to get up here. Right. And we revisited it earlier when we went through and came out the other Metroid. Right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's just an interesting little thing. No, it's pretty great. Uh, you can actually see that exit. You can shoot that wall and see the door that you can't get in if you go that way. Uh -huh. See, it brings you up to where you are at the original part of the game. I just like it's like normally when you get to the top of that in the original Metroid, it just ends. It's like you did it. But it's cool that you have to go through that bowl, that fucking path up again. Yeah. Well, I really agree. Yeah, this is how you save the animals. That's where you get the. Uh, the bullets. My only thing I don't understand about it is why are the animals in here? I don't know. Just a little secret, little eggshell. And you have to wait a second, and it's like, ah, oh, the animals, animals, animals. I always thought there was more animals for some reason. No, it's just the two groups. It's the one that shows you how to. Right. Oh god, I didn't shoot them out. <laughs> you gotta let them out. I'm just boiling us all alive. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I just. I didn't save the animals. I went there and cooked us all alive. But yeah, you got you free them out of there. They somehow get trapped, like all the noobs that don't know how to get out of here. They got trapped on the way out, and they're on their wheeze like, "How do I get out of here?" But what it, to me, what it seemed like is, and time. is uh -huh. uh, most most people donate to save the animals, but like the big donations go to kill the animals. Well, I think. I think the big donations go to balance them out, so that's what happens. I think if, if they always went based on what people wanted, like it was like a 1-1 one, one vote, Right. I think Save the Animals would win. By a lot. But I think uh, the people donate the opposite way so that the donation incentives are close. But in the, and it keeps people, you know, donating. I actually have that coin over there for whether or not you save or kill the animals. Yeah. Put the, I guess I'll try to put that on screen right now. But show off my Metroid shirt I bought last year, too. The one you're wearing right now? Yeah. I'll take pictures of that. Put them up right now. We gotta watch these credits and find out if my uh, clear time's... Yes! Really good clear time. I'm really happy with that. But yeah, you gotta watch the credits for this stuff. So that was Super Metroid. You saw most of the uh, the non-bullshit power-up stuff. The stuff that's not like the collect-a-thon stuff. I skipped two power-ups. I didn't get the spring ball, which lets you jump when you're in a ball shape, which is nice, but you don't really need it. And then there's an x-ray cone that you can get that lets you like look through the rooms and see through the walls, which helps you 100% complete. No. The world record any percent, which would be, I guess, what we just did, for, like, glitchless yeah. is 41 minutes and 56 seconds. Glitchless? Is it 100%? Well, yeah, it's just, it's just one, any one, percent. Yeah, with no glitches, 100%. Well, that's... Any, well, any percent. It's any okay, percent. Any percent glitchless is 41 minutes. Yeah. That's not bad. So, I mean, we're yeah. an hour off. I mean, yeah, that's cut not a bad. whole fucking hour off of it. Zost is not American. He does. He looks like an angry guy. One of yeah, his one of his early runs, he doesn't even talk. He ends up handing the mic to somebody else to talk through the whole. Yeah, it's oats and goats has the number one. Zost is at two. Caught power, which I've never heard of, is third. Two cat is fourth, and Bohemian. Bo you can always say that. Me. I don't know. It's the guy that runs Behemoth. Behemoth. I believe I'm saying that right. Yeah, they're... Behemoth, he's the yeah. one that wins a Wii, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, he's the one that was the only one that survived that one year. Yeah, I mean, they're, and they're all within... They're all cool as fuck. They're I've all within them a all speed around. And they're, they're all, all within a minute of each other, I mean... Yeah. The first speed... Yeah, the number, music right here is so good. The number it, one like, speedrunner and the... Like, the 100th speedrunner are all within. I mean, talk about details. They wrote a whole song for the credits that builds through the credits to the reveal. It's so cool. 
I mean, the, what's, what's, what's crazy about the speed running is they're all with the top hundred people in the world are within eight minutes of each other. Year Force! 1994 is one of my favorite years. Mm, bow, bow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pull your hair down, baby. It's like not even that sexy, but fucking. It's pretty weird for a Nintendo game, though. Yeah, and she put it back on. Fuck. Yeah, but in 1994, that shit was probably like, oh shit. That'd be a cool tattoo. Thanks for playing. That'd be a cool tattoo. There's definitely. That's not bad collection, right? Yeah, 60% in two hours is not bad at all. I will see you next mission. Actually, I'll probably see you on the mission two before this. They're probably playing zero next. That's it. Thanks for joining us for our Super Metroid, guys.